Hey, what's going on everybody? Welcome back to Grizzles Cards. Hope you're having a great day. Today we're going to do a little hanger battle. We're going to take on 2021 Topps Update Chrome Update versus 2022 Topps Chrome Update. See which one comes out on top. Uh, both of these have 20 total cards. Um, looks like 2021 you only got two exclusive pink waves and 2022 you get three. Um, so definitely 2022 has the better rookie class. Uh, 2021 though, uh, you know, Jonathan India for my red says bounce back this year and Jared Kelnick has certainly finally come around, at least at the time I'm recording this. So let's get our packs out there. If you're new here, make sure you hit that subscribe button. We're doing giveaways every 50 new subscribers on the road to a thousand. And everybody do me a huge favor, smash that like button. It really helps me out. All right, here we go. We got five packs total, each one. So let's go ahead and go with 2021 first. All right, we have Willie Adamas. A black gold of Ian Anderson. Brent Honeywell Jr. And Tyson Miller. Been too great in there so far. Pack number two, we have a rookie debut of Cabrian Hayes. We're going to get our first pink wave. It's a Francisco Mejia. Followed by a Shane Bieber All-Star Game insert. Taylor Trammell rookie and Zach Wheeler. Pack number three. It's been a while since I've opened this set, so I'm trying to think who else might be in it. We got Clark Schmidt, Shane McClanahan debut, Rugned Odor, and Marcus Simeon. Love pulling India or a Kelnick and the pink wave. I definitely do like the pink waves better than the purples. All right, we have a debut of Andrew Vaughn. Geraldo Perdomo. Our next pink wave is going to be a Josh Bell. We're not doing very good in the pink waves. Lance Lynn and Khalil Lee. All right, come bring it down to this last pack here. All right, we got Hirokazu Sawamura. Next, we got a Kyle Ripken Chrome Platinum Die Cut. Logan Gilbert Rookie. And a Buster, or not Buster, Joey Bart debut. So pretty tough to say what the top cards were. I do like the Ripken. The pink waves were pretty disappointing. Uh, I think I'm gonna go two inserts. Always like the black golds. Uh, these platinum player die cuts are pretty sweet as well. All right, now for 2022, let's find a pink wave. Julio, or Bobby Witt, Torkelson. This is the first time I've done a hanger out of this. So we got Lucius Fox, Luke Williams, Jake Walsh, Josh Harrison. Nothing doing in the first pack there. Pack number two. We got Ron Marinacio. An all-star game of Acuna. For now, Dustin May, Robinson Chirinos. First pink wave is going to be, oh, nice. Hunter Green, that's a beauty. That's a PC hit right there. Right, look at the corners. Centering might be a little off. Otherwise, I would probably send that to PSA. Nice looking card there. That's definitely going to beat. 2021, I think. Pack number three. I don't think I have a Julio out of here yet. Oh, there we go. We got a nice Bobby Witt Jr. Take that. 
Connor Pilkington, Tyler Malley, Isaiah Kiner Falefa. Second pink wave is going to be a Cole Sands rookie. We have a debut of CJ Abrams, Steven Matz, Generation Now, Royce Lewis, and Orlando Arcia. Gonna bring us down to our last pack. We should get one more pink wave in this one. Be nice if it was a big rookie. I'll sell for a base Julio. We have Alec Thomas rookie, Shamanea, A. Eugenio Suarez. Luis Guillorme and our pink wave is going to be, look at this. Ah, so it's from the Marlins, it is Jesus Sanchez. So 2022, I think I'll replace the Cunha, we did get the Bobby Witt debut, knocking down my background, but there you go. Let me know what you thought in my book, I think 2022 is the winner, especially with the Hunter Green pink wave, uh, but let me know down in the comments if you feel differently. Appreciate you watching. We'll see you next time. Have a good one.